Welcome back. We've talked a lot about what a GUI is, the wording behind it, the jargon, the concepts, and now we're finally ready to write our first one. So in this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how we can build a simple application using TK Enter. And by simple, I mean just a hello world. So this is going to be some of the code that we're going to end up writing. We're going to put a button and a label into our application. And then we're also going to rig up that button to say hello world when we click it. So it's quite a bit more code than just the standard Python hello world, but I'll explain it as we go through it and it'll make a lot more sense. To get started, I have my text editor open here and a folder that I'm going to be putting our GUI applications into. And this first one, we're just going to call hello underscore GUI. So I'm going to go ahead and just touch that file to create it make it a Python file, and then we can go ahead and open that up. In here, we need to first import TK Enter, and, and one of the standard ways we can do this here is to import TK Enter as TK, just to make it a little bit shorter. Um, and then the first thing we need to create is a TK application, and that's done by using the TK, capital TK, here. And this is going to create the first widget that we have. This creates our window that in, is, includes our big frame, but this is, can be the main entry point to our application. And we're going to put most of our code in between the line three that creates our root and the later line that is going to run our main loop by just executing this main loop function. So if we just go ahead and we save this right now, if we come down here and we run Python uh, 3.8, hello gooey.py. This is going to go off, and mine started on a different screen, but it just creates the application for us. We can resize it, but there's nothing going on inside. This is going to be the, uh, the application that we work with. So next up, we need to add a label, and we need to add a button so that we can actually interact with things on here. So let's go ahead and close this off. You'll notice that that killed the application, but while the window was still open, this was continuing to run because it had an infinite loop running. I never made it to line seven of the script because this line just continues to run. So that is kind of important to understand, and that's our first look at the event loop in action. For this first application, we want to display a greeting, um, but we're going to display a count so we know how many times we hit the button. So we're going to create a variable called greeting count, just started at one. We need a label, so we're going to do TK label. This is us creating our first widget. The widgets are going to be classes, and then they need access to a master, which is going to be the thing that contains them. So this can be a frame, or this can be a, an application here. So this is where we're going to pass in root, and then it has a bunch of different options that we can pass that are going to be different depending on the widget, but they're all going to be keyword options. So in this case, we're just going to create an empty label here that's going to have no text whatsoever. We're going to create a button. This is going to be TK button. It's also going to be added to root. And then it's going to have the text of greet. And then for buttons, we have the option to pass in a command, which is going to be the function that gets run when somebody clicks the button. So we're going to call this set message, and we're going to go and define that now. We'll come up a little bit, do set message. And for command functions, they actually take no arguments. Like it doesn't need to be able to receive anything. And what we want to do is we want to modify our label widget. And for the properties that exist on a widget, we have the ability to assign the values using what is essentially the subscript assignment operation that you'll see from a dictionary. So we can do something like this. We can do label text equals, and then we can do hello, and put greeting count in here close that off, and then we can iterate on greeting count. But as it stands right now, this isn't going to work for us because greeting count doesn't exist in this particular setting. So we're going to come up here and go going to access the global greeting count just to specify that, hey, we're using greeting count from outside the bounds of this function. So that gets us to the point that we've created everything. But if we go ahead and we save this and we run it one more time, what we're going to find is that when the window loads, nothing is here. And that's because we have added this, but we've never displayed it. And the way we display it is by interacting with a geometry manager. 
but there are going to be some methods on all of our widgets that allow us to specify how something gets displayed. And we're going to talk about these later on when we really dig into the nitty gritty of setting the layout and customizing the look and feel of our applications. But for right now, we're just going to use the pack method, which will use the pack approach of just basically putting things on there like it's a stack. It's just going to go from top to bottom in the window and add our things horizontally. So we'll have our label, for instance, if we did label.pack, and then our button going down as we add more and more widgets, so they would just continue to go further down the window unless we specify some other things. But that's what we need to do so that we can actually see these. So let's go ahead and just above our root main loop here, we'll do button pack followed by a label pack. And this will add both of them to the master and have them be displayed. So let's go ahead, come down here, kill what we had running before and run it again. And now if I pull over this very tiny window that was created for me, it's just big enough for the button here. We have a greet button on top. And when I click it, it's gonna say hello. When I click it again, it's gonna go and run the exact same thing again. So it triggered that event behind the scenes. So this isn't the normal way of doing event handling. It's kind of a special thing for buttons, but it's going to go and trigger that event and run set message. And then it's going to just go back to waiting until I click it again. So we've successfully created our hello world here. And there's quite a few different things that we had to talk about. So rather than being a one liner hello world, it ended up being 20. I mean, obviously, we have quite a few blank lines in here just for spacing things out. But the big takeaways are going to be that to create an application, we use the TK class. And then to run the application, we use our TK object and call main loop on it. From there, we're just working with widgets and functions, essentially. So widgets are going to be represented by a class. And we're going to talk about the whole suite of widgets that we have, or not the whole, but a lot of them. And label is one that allows us to display some text. And button allows us to create something that's clickable very easily. So by adding these two things using the pack method, we were able to see them and then interact with them because we had set the command of our button to be a function that was going to modify the configuration of our other widget. So there's quite a bit going on here, and I encourage you to go ahead and practice with this. Just working with buttons and labels, you can build quite a few interesting applications. And throughout this course, you're going to need to reference some documentation quite often. Python's official documentation kind of doesn't show you as much as you might want to see, but it does link to a lot of other things that are going to be able to provide us some context into how to do the various things that we want to do with TKEnter. But now we're ready to move on to more complicated programs.